Hello everybody! In a previous video I showed you how to map your AES IntelliNet subscriber network onto Google Earth. In this video I'm going to show you a couple of things that we can do with that once it's been mapped. There are a couple of different views that allow you to see your network. One is by fault, so you can select the fault and it will show all of the subscribers with a fault currently. Here we see we have subscriber 007B. If you click on the subscriber, it will show you a lot of information from the NMS about this subscriber. We have the check-in times, messages generated in the last 10 days, zones that are enabled, whether a restoral should be sent, the time to live settings, and the 10-day event history. This can be broken down by unit type, whether you want to see all of the Berg faults or the IP link faults. You can also break this down by code. So if you wanted to see all of the subscribers with battery issues, you would be able to look at that. For example, we have a subscriber with an act delay or an IP link. We have the tampers both have been engaged on the IP link, so you can see that as well. The other main view is the topology view. You can select the topology radio button on the left hand side and this will actually show the path of the radio from the subscriber to the head end equipment. Once you have these paths, one thing that you can do that can be very helpful is right click on the radio path and select show elevation profile. This uses the Google Earth data to show you if there's any mountains in the way or any hills that could be affecting your radio reception. One of the handy tools for network planning is the ruler. You can select the ruler icon at the top of the screen and this allows you to draw lines much like the radio paths you can draw a line from your IP link to any place where you're thinking about expanding your network to see if there's any mountains or hills in the way. So we'll try to draw a line three miles out from our IP link and then we can save this, update the style and color and the opacity if you'd like, and then select OK. Now just like the radio paths, we can right click on this and select show elevation profile. So you can see here there's quite a large hill right about here. The other thing you can do with this is select the ruler icon and draw a circle. So if you want to draw a circle one mile around your IP links, you can do that as well and then select save, update the color. You can do this around all of your head end equipment to get a better feel for exactly how far you should expand out without having to add another IP link to your network. And through YouTube magic, I've gone ahead and added one mile and three mile circles around the head end equipment here at AES headquarters so you could see exactly how far you can expand your network without having to worry about the signal needing to travel too far. Any of these circles or lines can be updated on the left hand side. If you wanted to remove our three mile line, just highlight and select delete. It will ask you would you like to delete and select yes and you can remove it like that. Or you can right click on anyone and update via the properties menu. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at Google Earth with the AES IntelliNet network on it. Please stay tuned for more videos in the future.